Hey guys, it's Michael here. So I've had a ton of people still requesting for Android hacks and though I've made a video on Fly GPS before, uh, Fly GPS is no longer available in the Play Store. So now lots of you are not able to get it. Remove this, Fly GPS. So even when you used to just type Fly, see so Fly GPS, when you go, none of these are the one. So I guess it just got taken out. So I'm just going to show you how to get it back on your phone as well as how to update it to, I believe it's 4.0.5. Yeah, 4.0.5. This is the one where you can input coordinates right here. So you can snipe just like normal, just like 2.2 app or whatever else. Um, so that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, this is way better. Even the old Fly GPS never updated to this one even in the Play Store. So this is always good to know anyway. So you can do the input coordinates instead of just having to drag around and... Uh, just teleport there so um, and fly GPS if you don't know is unique in that it uses the regular Pokemon Go app so anytime there's an update on the Pokemon Go app you don't have to worry about getting any other hacks or anything it just has this uh, this joystick here you just drag to move around and also the thing about Android phones is some of them have a lot less RAM than others so some of them will be a lot more laggy than others and this will work um, not as good I know there are Android phones out there that have like less than two gigs of RAM, which is not even the required amount to play Pokemon Go. So that's weird. It's a problem you don't see with iPhones because they all have um, the same processors. So I'm over here in Pier 39. Um, that's where I like to teleport to. So as you can see, this is working here. And just to teleport anywhere, you click on the little fly GPS icon. With the little wings, it'll pop you back up here. And you can just type in any coordinates, or you can drag around, and you can click, and you can move somewhere. Uh, the way you do this, um, so the ways to do this are either do coordinate search, you just type that in, hit search. Or if you want to click and drag somewhere, let's say I just click right here, and then you just click on the spot that you clicked. You go GPS service run, and then uh, joystick location mode for Pokemon. Just click that, and it will start it up. And that's it. And you do this before you get in the Pokemon app and then you just click the Pokemon app and it'll open. See, it just teleported me wherever that is. Now I would like to go back up here, just somewhere closer to the pier where I can see the water. Maybe let's go like, get me closer, there. Now I'm gonna click, GPS service run, Pokemon, and there we are back up here. And so you've got the joystick, you can click the little corner of this joystick if you can get it and you can move the joystick there's like a little box there it is right outside of the joystick so if you want to move it if you can't type or something uh, that was a problem I had the first time I did this if you saw my first video I was trying to type something and I couldn't move the joystick but so that's how that's how it works now I'm gonna go and show you how to get it it's super easy basically all you have to do is change a few settings on your phone by allowing developer option, then you download two files, you install the Fly GPS, then you install the update. That's the only two things. I'll put all the files down below. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'll go ahead and delete this. Let's delete our Fly GPS, uninstall, and this, that Pokemon Go, like I said, is just the regular one out of the Play Store. This is really cool because it just lays right on top, so you can always use the Pokemon Go in the Play Store. So, let's see. Which one should, let's do settings first. You go into settings and then you go all the way down to the bottom to about device. And then you want to click on your build number. Just do it like a bunch of times. It'll count down and then eventually it'll say you are a developer or whatever. And that will open up these developer options, which is what you need. Um, yeah, you're going to need those. So just go ahead and do that first. As well as I think in security, you probably have to turn on the unknown sources right here. Um, this will allow you to install applications that aren't from the Play Store, which this one is not. So make sure that is on. You need to do those two things first. Then just go to the first link, which will be the Fly GPS, the regular one, 4.0.2. Okay, that's the... Okay, so this is it. Uh, Oop, ads. Why ads go back? Ah, now I went back way too far. Okay, this is the page. Um, the link down below will send you here. 
you scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see download here with this ad. And if you saw right beneath there, it had a little countdown and then it popped up, said click here to download. This is the only spot that you click on the page. Don't click on any of the other things. They're gonna be ads and confusing. So go to the very bottom where it says download here, has a big ad, and then it'll have a countdown. Then it'll eventually say click here to download. That's where you click to download that file. Uh, it'll say it can harm your device, but you can see it's Fly GPS 4.0.2, just hit OK. Um, it always says it can harm your device if it doesn't know what it is, just to let you know that that's possible. But as you can see, I'm using this. This is There's no problems here. Um, so that one's downloaded. The next file we have that I've provided down below is right here. It will take you here. And as you can see, you don't have to get Mega App, but the browser doesn't. It likes for you to think you do. So if you click Open in Browser, it nothing will happen. I'm clicking it right now. So all you have to do is click the three buttons on the top right and do Request Desktop Site. Click that, and it'll show you the actual desktop version. Zoom out a little. Zoom out. Wait for it to load. And you have to zoom out, or it'll look like this, and you'll think it's never loaded or something. So zoom out, and then you hit Download through your browser. And that will download the second file. Well, I've already downloaded these. Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> so I've downloaded both of these. So what you want to do now, um, I'll just replace it, I guess. Now we have to go and install Fly GPS first. So what we're going to do, and I don't recommend doing this through downloads because as you'll see, sometimes it won't work. So I always go directly to my, where's my file manager? And then I click it from there. So the first file was the Fly GPS 4.0.2. So I'm going to click that one. Hit install. Installing. Okay. And then once this is done, we're just going to install the update. And I'll show you from the downloads that the update. Okay. So done. I don't need to open it yet. Um, from the downloads. I'll show you when I do the 4.0.5 APK. Well, nothing happens, but let me just go into my downloads. Uh, 4.0.5, so I click it, and it says can open file. So that's why we always go to the file manager. I don't know why this happens in downloads, but it just won't let you do it. So if that happens to you, which it likely will, go to file manager, and then just pick it from here. This is the 4.0.5 APK. Click that one, just hit install there. And now this is updating the um, the 4.0.2 Fly GPS. That's what this one is. It's an update. And then after that, we're pretty much done. It's going to tell us like one more thing to do. So now we're going to open Fly GPS. Close out of the ad. Um, so it's going to tell you you need to enable mock locations. And the only way that you can do this is if you have done that developer option in the beginning that we did. Otherwise, you're, you won't be allowed to do this. So that's why it's important that you do that first. Um, so go to settings, and right here where it says select mock location app, this is in the developer options, which is what you unlocked. You select the mock location app, and then you click Fly GPS. And now it's saying that you can Fly GPS will override the real GPS. That's what you've just done here, and you have to be a developer to do that. So that's how that works. Um, let's go back out. Where is our Fly GPS? Let's go ahead and click it. All right, now we're in. You can see it's 4.0.5 there at the top. I'm going to do my coordinate search over to Pier 39 San Francisco, which I have here on my computer. It is, what are these coordinates? Okay, let's do 37.8087, longitude minus 122.4102. Okay, just hit the check mark and it will take you right there. So in order to actually get there, remember we have to click here, go GPS service run, joystick lo location mode for Pokemon, and now it's now We've teleported over there. See, we have the joystick there at the bottom. All we have to do is open our Pokemon Go app. And now here we are. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So you just run around, catching stuff, getting stops. Um, that's it. So pretty much the same as before, but now you just have to go somewhere else to get the APK because it's gone. Um, yeah, that's it. This works really good. Occasionally it'll bug out and take you back home for like a few seconds, like back and forth, but don't worry about that. Um, it eventually, it, it gets better, I think. It's actually performing better today as well. I haven't teleported back at all for some reason. 
Um, so yeah, that's it. That's what I got for you guys. Hope this helps you Android users. This is for a 6.0 Marshmallow. That's the only phone I have. I don't have one before that yet. I was going to buy one. I probably still should. I've just been too busy. Um, so that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.